Hello everybody, welcome to the second round match between Martin Septim and his Necromantic, an Augmented Beard and his Pro Elves. In the booth with me is Rick Reckless, hello! Hello Jim! Oh, yeah, great, to, have great you to be here, here for a... Oh, pleasure mate. Um, love your, your amazing Chalice casts. Last Chalice was so much fun, so many great beloved names going uh, deep into the... Uh, into the final stages was really, really fun to watch, and I'm hoping for the same this time around. Have we got any amazing matchups for the third round so far, Jim, that you know of? Uh, not that I know of. <laughs> um... well, just just some of the coaches that have got through so far. Yeah, we Gadenix through, Elyod's through, and uh, Misspelled Trees through. And, yeah, they're the ones off the top of my head. <laughs> it is, is Elliot through? Elliot is not through, I just lied. Daedalcus is through. <laughs> yeah. uh, Elliot claimed he was through. He said he'd already won. Sorry, I, I must clarify. Because that was just oh, banter. That's, that's... That was just banter with, with Dimmy. <laughs> 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 so Elliot was claiming victory already, but no. Uh, Hancock as well. Uh, Hancock and Elliot are both playing tomorrow. Uh, not tomorrow, Wednesday. Oh, nice. Yeah, Hancock. Fantastic. Yeah. That'd be a great evening. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you're a you're a fan of the Dakar, Jim. You enjoying this so far? I, I I mean I love the Dakar. Yeah, I think it's the I think it's just the the superior strat for uh, for elf teams really. To be honest, like I think you know you don't have to go hard Dakar. You don't have to go full Dakar. Like you know even just one turn, right? It's it's stopped them. They can't base you up. They can't claw mighty blow you, tackle you. You know, like they can't restrict you. You they can't put problems in you for a turn at least. Like even if you just run back for a turn or two. I just, I just love it. I love it. Let's you... I guess they can, they can catch you deep. Like, it, you've got to find a way through, right? After dackering. Yes. Is is kind of the problem. Um, you, you you're stuck very deep with a lot of progression to make. And if you're against, sometimes you're against a team that can't respond very well. Like they're slow and not very agile, and then it can work really well. But if you, you know, Necro have a bit of responsiveness to them, so they might be able to re. You might get through one turn. And then, but then they're quicker, more agile pieces, kind of screen you back off again, the way that you've gone, and then you're you're still kind of stuck in your own half. Yes, I, to be fair, Necro one of the worst ones because because they've got the the flesh golems with stand firm for the outer edges, and as you say, the wolves are so so unbelievably fast and responsive and frenzy and tackle. Like both of these have frenzy and tackle, they're a nightmare to deal with. So yeah, you can get in trouble against Necro, but I still think it's a great strategy in general. <laughs> So which of these teams do you like more, Jim? It's interesting, isn't it? Like, in this matchup, I think I like the Elves more. Strangely, just because they, they're they not... They're, like, somehow not down TV. Like, it's weird there's only 11 men, and, like, the Necro would want, like, 13, I think, you know? So they can foul a bit, and Randor yeah. removals don't hurt them as much. Like, they're very min-max, right? They've got the bare minimum on everybody here. Block guard on the Fleshies, guard on the Whites, uh, yeah. block guard Ghoul... And then two really nice holes. Like it's an amazing, like it's like a sculpted team. It's really cool, but really low yeah. TV. Um, if you if you said where can I stop on my players in development, they, they, he stopped at every point, like exactly at every point. <laughs> yeah, for maximum TV efficiency. Like you would still rather have blodge guard fleshies, right? Oh yeah. And you would rather have like blodge stand firm whites and everything but yeah it's like it's a sick for tv efficiency this is sick completely sick team for tv it's, efficiency it's crazy but did, then did the elves have any inducements sorry uh, no there's no inducements in play at all there's no inducements in play wow yeah but then That's but then rarity. you look at the elves and they've got a natty <laughs> oh you say that it looks like the elves might have induced a player oh oh yeah that's true yeah good good catch a mercenary lineman so yeah, they must have been down precisely 90, right? Because surely they would have got a uh, apothecary over... A, well, the reason for inducing a mercenary lineman, Jim, is that you can leave the natty off. You, ah, you try and go yes. defend first, and then you bring the natty on for the turn eight. Yeah. So so the necro must have won the toss and gone defense. Yeah, good shout, good shout. Because, yeah, the natty is... The natty can just win it for them, can't they? Like, the fact that they're... Like it's so weird, oh. like that they're both low TV teams, and like basically this is about as min max as you can get for Proels, isn't it? Right? You've got a natty and like a team that's this TV efficient. 
yeah, yeah. There, there isn't loads and loads on the Prav team. It, uh, as, as I found out, it can do a job. But, uh, but yeah, it's not. We've seen much bigger. Gdanik, uh, myself, many years ago against uh, Oriolensis, has taken bigger Prav teams through and many others, Paravel. But, uh, but yeah, this, this is a much, much smaller Prav team. But it, it's got some good skills in the right places. And, and like you say, Natties can win games. The, the only problem with this Natty is I, I've had quite a number of got to run a Natties. And before they get sure feet, things are a bit iffy. Like three GFIs without reroll is really something. And then also, if you don't have a t oh, two heads, obviously you can't have two heads as elves. If you don't have an edge up or a leap or something, the, the four plus dodge at the end, if it's there, is also a... Uh, and then the three, you know, is, is a bit iffy combined with the with the sure feetless GFIs. So uh, you can you can end up more worried than you should against a natty like this one. Yeah, the, the problem is there's just no counterplay, though, isn't it? That's the thing. Like whatever you do, they're going to be like forty percent or whatever to just score it, and it's like it's kind of annoying, isn't it? <laughs> well, what you can do is remove it and then get still get right anyway, Jim. That's that's, that's what true. Can, you can, can do that. You can do that. Of course, you could also just score on turn eight when you turn them over. Sorry if it's too soon. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's uh, it's fine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you you know me. I love to high roll for the SPP for later in Chalice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it works for me every time, Jim. Yeah, I've I've never seen it fail. So yep. Oh, no, never never failed not once. <laughs> Wow, he could just go in here, right? He could just go in. Like, yeah, four yeah. Dodge. Four, four plus dodge is not much at all, is it? Yeah, there's no block on this guy. I'm, I might be tempted. And and you could you could score. No, hang on. 12, 11, 10. Yeah, yeah, he could score <laughs> if he gets a decent scatter. Yeah, he actually could. Wow. I, I, I think I'd go for it just because you're still kind of in control everywhere, right? Like... Okay, it's not great, obviously, if you fail it and, like, you fall over and you lose your wolf or whatever. So, like, it's, I'm not saying it's the best move, but uh, Ooh, it's one of those speculative one. sacks where you don't lose that much if you, if, if you fail, right? I wouldn't have hated it. Oh, he's going back into this part where he's a bit hemmed in already. I'm not sure. I, I always thought you were into your speculative sacks, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do yeah, enjoy no, honestly, it, it's so it's so game changing to get the touchdown there. But uh, but yeah, I, I I wouldn't mind it seeing it. But I can understand the conservative route as well, and it paid off hugely because he he got the power on a rodge piece and got the KO. That was one of the elves' best pieces. Yeah. Oh wow. This, this is was... the problem with being slightly underdeveloped. Elves is is that if you lose one of the good ones, you don't have much in the way of backup. True. This was rowdy, wasn't it? An uphill for a one D surf. But it, yeah. does, it does get him out of this kind of corner he was in. Like, he was pretty cornered there. Not cornered, I don't know. Controlled, whatever. It, yeah, it, w one of my bugbears with Dakers is I, I nearly always see some very risky plays in the process of, of trying to get this hole. But, you know, and this, is the, this is the thing, though, about it. Is, uh, I, said, I said this when I was playing Crucifer. And uh, it, it holds up very well. Try playing a normal drive against Crucifer, you know? And it's like, <laughs> it's it's not easy, right? People, a lot of, there's a lot of people that act as if, you know, if you just want to score in two, you can. But it's it's really not that easy. No, and, and, no, yeah. you are right. Of course, it, it does, like, exacerbate the kind of fail state, if you like. You know, if you, if you lose the ball here, well, they're right in your backfield and they'll just counter score really easily. Or a lot more easily than if this was happening up here. But um, well, we're, we're on. We're about to be on turn six for the Elves, Jim, and there's going to be absolutely no way through. <laughs> it's a good job it is on a natty because that gives a little bit of hope that it could get into range. But yes. it's <laughs> going to have a ton of work to get there. Yeah, of course, the other option is to nil nil this half and then natty your way into overtime. Oh, wow. All two into one. He has not been afraid of blitzing these sidesteppers with the wolves, has he? And okay, I said there was no way through. I wasn't yeah. expecting that. <laughs> there is. There is a way through. Yeah, that's, he has not been afraid of sidesteppers at all. And some might say that that is a bit rowdy. <laughs> oh, indeed. So, sidesteppers are a huge part of a successful uh, stacker, I think, actually. Oh, wow. That one sticks. Yep, huge. 
huge removal, not not just of the of the you know for the match or whatever, just to get him out of the way, isn't it? Well, it's brilliant, isn't it? It's like the knockdown was great. Yeah, it's it's massive for this drive, and it and it is huge for the match because, like you say, the Necro have no bench, so even a rookie zombie oh. removal is is actually really really big. Yeah. Numbers count. Yep, I really like getting something through here. Yeah, I would have got the, probably the sidestepper through there first or something. But. Wait, here we go. The old loner. Roll a bunch of dice because you don't care about him. Love that with owls. <laughs> the, the flip side again, though, to like trying to tackle Claw Mighty Blow, the, the Blood Step Blitzers, is if you do succeed, the elves don't have that many other good players. Getting rid of one is, is a massive upswing. True, true. But. I hate frenzy dropping myself. <laughs> <laughs> and I do but not Space like Cadet would say it's a frenzy opportunity. He, he would say that, yes. <laughs> and uh, don't make me check your record against him to see who I should be listening to, Jim. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's all I can say to that. Uh, yeah, talk I mean, to the dog, no. It's, it's not over. It's really not. Ooh, I quite like putting the guard in like here or something. And now. Ooh, 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 pop dodge. Wow. Wow, reroll for this guy. Fuck off, Dimmy. That's interesting, isn't it? One, two. He's gotta go a long way here to get to get in range. Again, if if he had those sure feet, I'd be like, yeah, you know what, they could do this. But also the wolves as well. There's an a movement eight, obviously, adge four wolf. Like, it, yeah, I don't know. Oof, Pop's Dodge is just one GFI, but still, I think. Oh, no, two GFIs. And then another three next turn. Yep. Yeah. But he's got a reroll for the three, hasn't he? But that that could have been one nil to the Necro if you fail either of those. <laughs> I, I honestly might have been all right with nil nil as the elves. <laughs> I mean, I, I think I think if you fail these, you're probably all right. And I know he's got the wolf here, but you're probably uh, you're probably just not scoring rather than getting scored on. I think, like with his screen, <laughs> it's kind of a screen, isn't it? It's good enough. <laughs> I think you'd have probably been okay. Ah, <laughs> thanks, Timmy. That was amazing. Dewey. So yeah, now I mean now it's worked, doesn't it? Can this can this guy get here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, he can. But he can't stop the assist. Can he just go and hit from the corner? Probably not. Oh, he's double one. Worst mistake you can one. make in Blood Bowl. It's a terrible mistake, isn't it? People should never roll bad dice. I don't know why they keep... They insist on keep doing it for some reason. I know, no matter how many videos you put out there teaching people not to roll bad dice. They just keep doing it. Yeah, fair play, Augmented Beard. He's... he's Pulled off a very good opportunity. Obviously got to make the three GFIs, but uh, yeah, it looked rough a moment ago. It really did. And yeah, yeah there it is. <laughs> Turns out having a movement 13 player is pretty good. <laughs> 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 Who knew? <laughs> Who knew indeed. Won't, uh, won't happen anymore in Blood Bowl 2020. No, that's true. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, he did only need a push. So yeah, it, it was right to go for the uphill. Yeah. That's, that's true, Hanko. My bad. Not not literally the worst thing. Was being hyperbolic. My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, now my Inceptum is in a horrible spot because he can have a perfect drive. He can remove loads of elves. And then he can just get one turned on and lose. <laughs> well, I mean, he's having to field the one turner. So you, you've literally got to think almost more than protect my ball the grind whatever else you you got to think well obviously not right now he's obviously thinking well if i one turn then i'll be okay so he's got to try and do that but then come come next drive he's got to really really target that uh, that natty and if, actually if oh my can. goodness the, the elves can. only have to get one successful ko roll and then they don't have to fill the natty that really yeah. would be a disaster yeah 
Yeah, you don't even try for the one turn here. I think it's t it's too difficult, right? You just hope for the hope for the riot, and then at least try to bang to. Um... Oh wow! Oh my God! Oh, not like that. No, hang on. Rocks always show the. Oh no! Okay. Yeah. Well, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> that's the that's worse than a quad skull, I think. To be honest. Oh yeah, yeah. A little. Uh, I I wouldn't blame Martin for throwing an early GG in at this point. That is insane. Wow. Yeah. This, uh, <laughs> severe, severe underdogs are the are the necro. It's not over yet, but it's halfway there. <laughs> I love throw a rock. It's so so interactive. Yeah, it's so much fun, isn't it? It is pure pure fun. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Uh, so I guess you're throwing the foul here, right? Even though you're already down men. Yeah, yeah you, I'd, I'd, throw I'd be throwing everything in now. Everything in the kitchen sink to, to try and drag myself back into this one. And not just for the like generic high roll. <laughs> wow. Also to make him feel the one-turner, right? That's the thing. Because if he doesn't have to feel this one-turner, yep. then it's yep. almost GG. But, man, this is horrible, isn't it? It gets caught for that. It gets rocked. He needs uh, the LOS of a lifetime, and that does stay out. Okay, Ooh. that was absolutely critical. So the Natty's on the pitch, and now if he gets lucky and removes some stuff on the LOS, he can start to consider himself vaguely back in this. Yeah. And you can always you. keep fouling with non non DPS if you're absolutely desperate. Don't forget, if he kills an elf, he he actually gets a, a reserve, and uh, that that could do him well for overtime. Yeah, I mean it's. It's just hard because he's got eight men versus eleven, and the yep. eleven are elves. <laughs> God, <laughs> yep. God, this is going to be everything he can to score. I think now you give up on trying to be lucky and trying to hurt the natty, and you just hope that you somehow score at any point. Oh, I'm oh, hoping the natty is is well down the list now. Yes, yeah. you, you've got to start moving up. My first thing would be let's see how the LOS goes because you might suddenly. Drag this back to 8-8, eight, eight, like in a crazy world. Yeah. You know, throwing a foul as well. There's a chance. They are only armor 7. The reason why people say pro elves are the worst elves. Because yeah. they're the worst elves. <laughs> 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 well, they're not being the worst elves right now, unfortunately. For Martin. Nope. He's so narrow as well, isn't he? Like these three all in a all in a little square. He's got to just, yeah. He couldn't he couldn't afford a blitz of the wolf, I think. He had to probably push him out a bit wider, keep him a bit wider. Yeah, Pen, that is a that is a fair comment. Yeah, I mean they're still decent, right? They're still good. They're still a good team, really, because they're elves. I, yeah, I I like pro elves. And really, they only fall down at super high TV, and the Necro are bringing a, a mid-range TV. This is a mid-range TV matchup. This is Pro's wheelhouse right here. Oh. Yeah, they're funny Pro's, aren't they, like, compared to high L's? I, I, I think, if anything, they get they almost get better at high TV, right? Because then you've got the six positionals that are better than the high elf positionals, and you've only got five linemen on the field, which are worse than high elf linemen, and you're up against a lot of claw, so the armor seven doesn't matter as much. Yeah, it is. It is true versus Claw. Like I think it's it close between. Don't to get hands. there as easily. True. Might be the problem. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. You've got an interesting point there, Jim. I'll I'll ruminate on that. Yeah. But would you have rerolled the uh, the double skulls? I was just thinking as soon as that double skulls came up, I thought you know what? I wouldn't even bother rerolling. <laughs> but it's, it's fair enough too. I'm not sure I'd have made the block. I might have just I might have just run away. <laughs> and... <laughs> defensive Dacker. <laughs> yeah, defensive Dacker. <laughs> I guess I would have hit it because, like you know, the fact that you're three man advantage, you might as well go for the two in the normal time. And and actually, with the failed pickup, it it is nice to get the players through. Yeah, yeah. no, I may, maybe I would have rerolled it. Yeah, with th three man, I think probably you do. Yeah, that's well, the... you say that, but the thing is, the better off you are. Technically, well, no, this is nice because now that forces the reroll. And if it does fail, no, he does get it. Yeah, they're in a, a terrible, terrible spot. But but yeah, the, I mean, the better off you. Okay, yeah, but, but I guess I get it. It's always weird to see someone basing the ball up intentionally. 
Yeah. But uh, but I do get it. Yeah, like he, he needs he needs to protect it, and a guard eye cage is as good as he can possibly get, isn't it? He? he just doesn't have the players. Yep. He just doesn't have yeah, the players. That's a good call. Why didn't he blitz with a wolf? Because of uh, frenzy. Frenzy being rubbish <laughs> is is a big part. Isn't that right? Hmm. He actually like helps the wolf there with that blitz, doesn't he? Obviously, wouldn't have helped him if he cast him, but <laughs> like actually pushing him there actually helps the wolf. And this is, I guess, this is the problem about like this min max team thing is okay, the, the, the whites are cool with only the guard, but the fact that he's lacking tackle, isn't it? And like his only tackle is on the wolves, which meant that he felt he had to blitz with the wolves. And then. Um, Got into a bit of trouble with the uh, with the frenzy traps. Yep. Oh, oh that's all right though. Yeah, it kills the guard. Doesn't should should work. have been a strong arm anyway. That's uh, <laughs> <A> thick skull. <laughs> that's, that, yeah, or thick skull. Yeah, even better. That's the zombie I was on about. There we go. Slight yeah. uh, slight turnaround for the necro here. It's yeah. got to give him a little bit of hope. Yeah, that helps him in overtime, which is his best possible case scenario now. And slightly with defending the, the Natty one-turner. Yep. If he doesn't kill it. Or the, the regular one-turner if, if he does. Yep. Does yeah, he yeah. have another dodge catcher? I'm not sure he does. That's a good point. Who's, who's the super deep guy there, Jim? Sorry. Maybe, maybe he's dodge. Yeah, he's, he's oh. got a budge step here. and He's got a budge step. This is catcher, isn't it? Not a line. Oh, that's the Natty. Oh, of course, the super deep one's the Natty. <laughs> oh, it's the, it's the K. I think the KO is a Rod strip ball, which is a little unfortunate not to have for this drive. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Is his team's a bit toothless without Mighty Blow, isn't it? Like, you would like Mighty Blow on all four strength positionals, to be fair. But for TV efficiency, like it's sick, isn't it? Oh yeah. It's a completely sick team for, for TV efficiency. I mean, this is a similar looking Necro team to the one that Try won with. Yeah, it is. It is. It's bare bones, but effective as it needs to be. Huh? Dogs like bones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, gets the power again. That was, that was going to look bad, probably, wasn't it? Um, on the second hit, but again, just lack of options with it being the only tackle. Yeah, you got to try sometimes, and it's it's not the worst thing to roll reds with with block, is it? No. If you can get the ball vaguely safe first. Yeah, I mean it's it's pretty terrible, but yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> it's the odds aren't that bad, right? It's thirty yeah. percent to fail. In, in ladder against like a, a regular coach, I'd I'd be hating the fact. For various reasons, to have to do it. Maybe even just for the attrition value on my wolves. But in Chalice, you know, you're such a thin favorite, even against anyone, really. Uh, you're going to have to get that bit of luck. Suddenly, these plays that are, are iffy in ladder are, are way more acceptable in, in Chalice. Yeah. And the thing is, like, we're all conditioned a bit to be a bit too risk-averse, right? Like, yeah. When you, when we, you that, think... <laughs> You're absolutely yeah. I couldn't agree with that more, Jim. We we all play way too much ladder, and it makes us like way too conservative for Chalice. <laughs> and then suddenly we got to adjust, and we struggle to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, you you'll see Artemis losing his mind when somebody makes a three percent risk that they don't need to make, and then you know, <laughs> like it's true though, right? Or eleven percent risk is is absolutely horrific. Well, it's not horrific, and it's you know, and then you know, like it's basically a three plus, isn't it? An uphill with block is basically a three plus. Yeah actually better than a three plus and you know everybody who plays poker is going to go all in when they get aces and that's about the same as an uphill and like the same chances for yeah. an uphill and, and you have to go all in every time you get aces pre-flop <laughs> basically so there you go yeah 
you go. Yeah, I could uh, come up with some crazy <laughs> examples of not, but but yes, uh, in in real life, effectively, yes. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I tell you what, the Necro on a tear, Martin Septim turning this around one alpha at a yeah, time. Yeah, this is crazy. Yeah, he's actually got into it somehow. Really has, and and they're hunting down the Natty now. This is the next step because, of course, no matter how many elves he kills here. Barring all of them, <laughs> um, <laughs> then, then uh, he's got to he's got to stop that natty because if there's one elf to deliver the ball, well, I guess he needs two more for the LOS if we're being really pedantic, and then one to deliver it. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the problem right now is that as good as this driver's gone, even if he turns 16 scores, we could still just see a natty elf win. Yep, yeah, unbelievable amount of removals. But yeah, that like that's all he needs, right? He's just just guard on these, and then eye caging was a good solution. Yeah. I, I think it's looking really, really good now for the Necro turn 16 score, which it wasn't at all at half time. So massive credit to, to Martin. And, you know, can't begrudge him his, his dice. Um, yeah. Both coaches have done a good job. But, uh, yeah, this this Natty situation is is now back on. You know how you said now you're not worrying about the Natty? Well, now he's back to worrying about the Natty. Yeah. He's got to go all in on that Natty. Yeah, absolutely. And he's got the uh, frenzy here, hasn't he? And there's no sidestep on it. So he's absolutely going to blast it. You'd hope so. Get that blood stepper. That ain't your problem. Yeah, I like this. Get in. Get in with a wolf. Oh, baby. Gets the pow. Gets the AV break. Gets the KO. Is that, we haven't seen the upper, right? This could be the power upper. That is it the is. power upper. Oh, my God. Power upper. I don't think there's any zombies around to uh, to foul it. Maybe. Oh well, no, you can't next turn. Well, well you, you could. You could. You could. You could. No, it isn't. Mathematically, I don't think it's good. It's close. It's yes. surprisingly close. Yes, that's what Elliot said. To be fair, now that he's got nine players, uh, twelve minus. Yeah, he's got nine players. Maybe it, like you know, with nine, maybe it is. You know better because the dodges are easier, right? So the send off is about thirty-three percent. The natty success rate is about forty percent. But, but then it, the problem with the send off, now, right? it's higher now because because he's only got nine players, so it's higher than forty now because okay. of dodges. That's but the thing. The, the problem with the send off being thirty-three percent is a lot of those are to stun, which doesn't even help to KO when it comes back. So you're not getting that full. 33% value or 66% value sorry yeah so it's really close yeah that's the thing El Elliot said he worked it out and it's it's not worth fouling without a bribe um, but it, I don't know how likely the you know the natty is now against only nine defenders right that's the thing because he just he just can't backline properly can he no nope. so you're getting you're getting a 3 plus 3 3 2 are you guaranteed getting a 3-3-2, three, three, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Three, Did three, I two. score Goliath games? Have I got a piece of this Necro team, Jim? Is it the ghoul? Uh, yeah, Rick Rackus. <laughs> you even get a surname, look. Volcano oh. doesn't. Elliot doesn't. Well, I mean, Elliot doesn't. Elliot and Volcano don't. Do K-Fog. Tom doesn't get to be Tom Schnitz. Jimmy doesn't get to be fantastic. And Drayson. There you go. Drayson doesn't get to be gaming. Yep, Chunter doesn't get to be Crystal Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, yeah. Cool. So, are, are we going out of Chalice for a second time, Jim? Who knows? About to find out. Doesn't even need to pass. He can blitz here, can't he, even now? <laughs> yep. Doesn't he dodges? Doesn't anyone in nines? Oh boy! And he oh casts! Oh my god! Doesn't have it for the overtime, which he might be about to get the ball on. Wow! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! What was the injury as well? Badly hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Badly hurt. Yeah. Whew. Imagine oh, if he got missed wow. next, he'd be out of this and the next one probably. <laughs> what a turnaround. Doesn't get a KO back. Oh my, and that's his second best capture. <laughs> get off my oh fucking my pitch, prick. 
<laughs> oh my god. And he's lost the toss. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my well, god. if the Necro did early GG when I said it worked an absolute charm. Cause <laughs> they've gone from massive dogs to, to massive favorites. Wow. I guess barring a blitz short kick, uh, you know, the elves could get right back in it on that. Barring that, it looks the Necro for all the world now. Yeah. Wow. And that was that was the the guy not coming back on KO again was a strip ball gym. Yeah. So you know you'd always have a chance with that. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yes, yeah, seven versus nine. We've gone from eleven versus eight. It wasn't. It was eight for the. It was eight for the necro. Eight versus eleven, and now in overtime, it's nine versus seven. <laughs> and that that eight was all cars that had stuck. So yeah. they they had to get. Oh no! <gasps> oh no! Rick! No! No! <laughs> God, and miss next. <laughs> so even if he wins, he's he's out I'm, of the next. I'm one. out of chalice again. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, I guess you keep me, but no more carrying on. It needs to get the other ghoul now. Yeah. To carry on. And just just throw me to the wolves. Let me guard blodge up, and when I die, I die. Sad yep. times. Let's see if if we get through two matches, you'd still fancy them to win this one. Yep. It's not over though. Only one reroll. No, it isn't. Elves, elves can do things. Yeah. We roll the pickup here. Oh. He, th he thinks no. Yeah, I agree. It's horrible, but yeah, I agree. I don't re-roll that. Yeah, with your last one, it's hard, but uh, there's a lot of pressure coming in. There's three blood steppers oh, coming it, in the ball now. It it absolutely could go wrong, but I I think you hope that you you get a re-roll off the elves, forcing themselves to get the pressure on this. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you've got any choice, probably, but it's, you know, you're in a lot of trouble now. A lot of trouble. Oh, def yeah, this is unbelievable, the swings in this game. <laughs> yeah, and this could be it. One reroll apiece. The equity is even, Jim. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he's, he's got to make the extra one to get blood stuck on the ball. I like that. Yeah, that's huge. That's absolutely... This is crazy. I can't... I, wow. <laughs> I thought it was over for the elves. I thought oh, it was over for the nine. necro. He's one in nine, and he's stunned. Maybe you should have just stood him upright, like, because you know you're doing the one in nine. So maybe just stand him up to, to tag off can, the, the fleshy. Can we ban Monty, Jim? Is that, do you mind? Uh, yeah. yeah, I can ban Monty. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> wow, I, I didn't know I had so much power. That's awesome. <laughs> I don't take a lot of convincing, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, the fame was one for Martin Septon. And he got rocked today. <laughs> Sir, he might have a point, mightn't he? That we just occasionally might GG a tiny bit too early. <laughs> Maybe there's still some dice to be rolled. Goodness me, ball on the floor, elves turn. Oh my god. It's the uphill pushes. I don't even Still know. Got a lot to do. I don't even know why that happened. Yeah, I'm looking at it like, yeah. He's like, going to tag here and 1D. Yeah, no, yeah, that's it. So then he's going to 1D, right? Now he's going to 1D. Gets the oh power. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He's this just going to roll all the turn. dice. Three, he's just going to roll all the there. dice. Three, two, he's got it, Jim. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a match. <laughs> What a match! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh my god! What? So that the is elves no won way. it, and then the necro won it, and then the elves no won it again. No way! <laughs> that is crazy. That is like genuinely one of the swingiest, craziest matches I've seen. Yep. Like just ever. Absolutely probably. wild. That put the JFW to shame. <laughs> yeah, that was really weird. What? Like, that was so weird. Because normally it snowballs. You get an advantage, you can leverage it, you, you, you get a more and more comfortable win, the better it goes. But that just kept... As soon as somebody got on top, all the dice went the other way, <laughs> vice versa. Wow. Yeah, unbelievable. And, and somehow this kind of rubbish Pro Elf team is in the third round. <laughs> <laughs> they've and, they've got a natty and not much else. <laughs> and Yeah, and amazingly, they still have that natty. He was obviously injured, only badly hurt, which is huge. 
So yeah, and they're, they're always going to have a chance as long as he's entering those matches. Yeah, unbelievable. So there you go. Commiserations, Martin Septon. Congratulations, Augmented Beard. Thank you so much, Rick, for the core commentary. Absolutely glorious. I picked a great one there. So come on, Tom. That was amazing. Thank you for having me, Jim. <laughs> yeah, very, yeah. Thank, thank you. That was that. What, what a match that was. Yeah, unbelievable. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.